There's something to be said for traveling to your own backyard. For years, I've told people to tour their own cities and towns, and so today, I've decided to take my own advice. Forest Park. It's known to most as the crown jewel of St. Louis, home to world-class attractions like the St. Louis Zoo and Missouri History Museum. At 1,300 acres, it's larger than New York Central Park. And since 1894, locals have enjoyed the waters of Forest Park by paddle boat. An iconic St. Louis experience I've never experienced until today. The boats are pretty straightforward. These days you don't have a paddle, you use your feet and pedal. And you pedal and pedal and pedal some more. It was much tougher than I thought it would be. I guess I sort of just assumed that this was gonna be a breeze. Um, and I don't wanna to be too over dramatic, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die out here. You begin your journey on Post Dispatch Lake, excavated in 1893 by thousands of unemployed locals who earned $1 a day during the middle of an economic depression. The lake is 22 acres in size, with two small islands and home to wildlife. Fish, butterflies, and even a bald eagle or two, if you know where to look. The historic Grand Basin is the money shot, and the prize for all your pedaling. The St. Louis Art Museum up above, a hill that was once covered by thousands of people greeting Charles Lindbergh, and the basin itself which was center stage at the 1904 World's Fair. After a bit of gliding around the fountains and soaking up the sun and history, it's time to head back. More pedaling, more sweating than I care to tell you about, and eventually the boathouse is back in view. A St. Louis must do, finally done. And it only took me just about 40 years.